Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Welcome to episode 47 of the Iron Four to Diamond series. Today we're playing Aatrox Top as voted by you guys, OP.GG and the runes right now on screen. And we're facing against Darius Top this game. Anyways, just want to go over the combo really quick for Aatrox. You just use your Q, then your W, and then you mash your Q twice. Obviously you weave in your auto attack at least after the third Q, so on screen is an example. And you should use your E whenever you need to reposition, but make sure you land your first Q, that's pretty important. And it's also very important to land your W right after you knock them up with your first Q. That's why the first Q and the first W is very important. After that, you just spam your second and third Q and you should be fine. You can reposition with your E if you want to. So that's the idea. And against Darius, we're definitely going to go for Doran Shield because his bleeds. Well, Doran Shield gets so much more value from Darius's bleeds. So I guess the idea here is we want to out sustain him and we want to be able to get the teleport in after him so we get him out of lane then he teleports back then we can somehow still trade with him a little bit more and then we teleport back as well and just all in him. But if it doesn't work out then you know we'll just have to play safe. Depends on how he plays. But if he was to grab us in I guess we'll just use our W and then we'll walk out. Okay looks like they started there so Olaf started what side? Oh, I wanted to auto him with my passive. Let me just walk out of that one. He takes a lot of damage from minions though. Damn, my Q just expired. I guess because we didn't push in with our Q, we're gonna have to let him push in for now. Also, he's Doran's blade, so we can out-sustain him quite easily. Wow, my Q actually falls off really fast. Alright, I need to make note of that. My Q's on cooldown. Man, that Jax is only level 2 though. That's pretty problematic. Oh, I really don't want him to go in right now. Damn. Oh man. <laughs> My Q missed him. Alright, I guess that works out. That was really Monk S because he was level 2. And there was a big minion wave under my tower. So I really didn't want him to gank. But it somehow worked. Logically, it shouldn't have worked because that Darius should have been a little more careful. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Man, this Starus is really silly. Also, I don't like the fact that my jungler is ganking for me because it makes for a bad video. Alright, once our next Q is up, we get to wave clear this really quick. Okay, sweet. Let's go back. So I think what I want to do here is just get him to about half, and then I'll just pop ult and run him down. I think that's the plan anyway. Actually, we are level 6 though. Hmm. 
Okay. I think this poke is doing wonders right now. But the thing is, we don't revive with our ult. That's the only issue. And also, our Q cooldown only starts after we use our third Q. It's not like before where it starts after our first Q. So there's a bunch of Aatrox nerfs with the changes. And also, our E only heals off of champions. Doesn't heal otherwise. Okay, so enemy junglers at dragon. I really wish I could poke Darius a little bit more. He's playing pretty far back right now. Okay, nice. We chunked him pretty hard. Maybe we can get a scuttle crab. Also, we can fight Olaf if he comes over. Alright, we'll just get deep vision. Okay. This instant wave clear with our Q. One minion, I get level 8, so... Pretty sure it's warded. Okay, it's not not a very interesting lane, and somehow he has so much sustain. Okay, these are some really good trades for me. Okay, sweet. Here we got him. Okay. Now we're gonna start working on these towers. These tower platings. Okay, he's teleporting, so we'll just go back, buy Black Cleaver and do the same thing. By the way, if this Darius was smart, he should just all in me when he's high health. Because I don't have enough damage to all in him. I'll keep my TP advantage for now. Maybe I can even look for a TP player bot lane. But this is where I can afford to use it and help others. So I want to walk up and auto queue, and then our next one should be... Oh, okay, he's backing away. Oh, nice, I got the reset. Oh, triple reset. I don't know what these resets do, but I just know the first one lets you revive. <laughs> Anything beyond the first one is kind of like, just extends the duration by five seconds. Ooh. 
That's pretty nice. The reset just feels so good once you get it. It's just like that added level of security. I'm surprised they took so long to kill me though. Must be the amount of health I got. Yeah, the triple Q is so nice. I can just kill minions while hitting tower. Nice, got another tower plating. Beauty. Okay, let's go back and we're going to get some more CDR. Because this is a cannon wave, there's no point in teleporting. All I'm doing is just really making move away. It doesn't really achieve much. There's no need to teleport if you don't have to. Okay, let's see if he walks up. No, he doesn't walk up. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can all in him. I'm so far ahead. Mm, they got this as well. Got another dragon. I think that was pretty worth My passive hurts more than his Q at the moment because I'm ahead. Okay, so the moment he walks up, I want to just QE. Oh, he doesn't walk up. The Starius is playing really safe. Nice, he flashed. I guess we just take tower then. Use our E for auto reset. I'll let these minions die off. So it denies Darius a little bit more. Just as much denial as possible. Okay. Now we'll push in the next wave. They're busy over there. I didn't even need to flash that one. That's pretty neat. I guess I'll just teleport top. I really can't find a use for this. Okay, he's just gonna back away, that's fine. Okay, let's go and mess with Olaf. He's going to be in his jungle. Oh, there's Darius here as well. Hmm, Rip Fizz. Wait, this cooldown from E is really short now. It's not bad. Oh, 
And we clear jungle camps quite easily too. We just need to farm up a little bit more for Death's Dance. Okay, I think I know what to do. I need a QE and then after that I space it out. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> Uh, okay. Wow. They just... They just all got wiped out. <laughs> Damn, this game is pretty one-sided. Not much I can do about it. But we hit so hard with our outer edge though, it's insane. If we hit like triple outer edge, they just get one shot. Well, not one shot, but 100 to Ode. And if we just like land a, a powered auto as well, oof. there's no chance they survive. Mm, I'm not keen on diving, unless they chase. I'm keen on fighting. Let's see, run this way. Take it. Sweet. So now we can go back and get a crazy ton of items. It feels pretty nice, even though I'm completely clueless. I'm pretty sure that Darius beats Aatrox in a one-on-one -on -one situation, just because he can't revive on his own. So I'm pretty sure that Darius can get that five stack bleed and then just ult, and Aatrox can't do enough damage. Uh, in a situation where the Darius isn't this far behind. Okay, let's go and clear this whole top side and push in top. The right play is to go bot, but the thing is everyone's already bot and I just wanted to see if I could 1v1 Darius. Like how easy it would be because I'm so far ahead. Just wanted to see. Damn, I messed that up so bad. <laughs> oh, okay, GG. That was... Mm, 
simple enough. I didn't really do much though, that's the thing. Is my team actually won this one. So I kind of wish I was on Darius's team where my team was losing. And then with how fed I am, I can probably carry. But yeah, this game does feel kind of off-ish. It's just that I don't know if I should be skipping this game and uploading a different one. It's not too short. So let me know what you guys think in games like this where I feel I didn't do that much. Even though I'm 8-0, I feel like my team won. Actually, they didn't even win that hard, right? 5-2, and 5-2. Two, five and two. I mean, they did win, so that's why it was so easy. We somehow did the most damage, surprisingly. I thought everyone was winning really hard, especially this Fizz. He's 10-3. and three. But then again, he has half my CS, so that's the thing is, if you have very low CS, very high kills, then you're not going to climb in ELO, at least not consistently. Anyways, GG well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to vote down below which champion you want to see in the next episode. I'll be sure to do it. And I'll see you guys all next time. Cheers.